time to spin a room full of straw into a room full of gold. The young miller's daughter knew not what to do. She knew the tale of her spinning straw into gold was nothing more than that. A tale, and a tall one at that. What am I to do? If the king returns and there is no gold, there will be no throne for me, no position for my father. And if luck is not on my side, we could forever end up in the dungeon indeed. What should I do? Before long, the sweet young girl had fallen asleep, and day had fallen to night. Then out of nowhere, a little voice called out to her. And if you haven't figured it out by now, this is the story of Rumpelstiltskin. And as you'll soon see, the story has changed. He is no longer in the market for shiny trinkets. What he now longs for is more carnal in nature. Forget the necklace and bracelet. Our Rumpelstiltskin wants something more. Mistress Miller, Mistress Miller, over here, behind the pillar. Who goes there? Show yourself! It is I. I who has come to help you. I who have come to help you in your time of trouble. And what is your name, kind sir? <clears throat> My name, my name, my name is unimportant. What is important is that I've come to help you. You see, I, unlike you, can spin straw into gold. Really? Indeed I can. Indeed I will. But it'll cost you. Yes, it will. Tell me, kind sir, what is your fee? <laughs> my fee, my fee. What shall it be? Something for you? To give to me? Perhaps a kiss. Do we agree? Mm. Come, my pretty. And you can really turn this straw into gold? Oh, indeed I can. Indeed I will. All you need to do is pay my bill. Oh, come, my dear. Not to fear. Give me my kiss. Wait. And kiss they did. They kissed so long and so hard and so passionate was his kiss that the beautiful young girl fainted. The strange little man, with the impish grin, laid her down. <laughs>
But in return, my cock you hold. You'll suck it fast, you'll suck it slow, and very soon the cum will flow. A deal we have.